Now, obviously, it's game day countdown, but we couldn't not talk about Spurs because it was obviously a disaster in Europe last night. And um, obviously, me and Craig, big Spurs fans, you know that. We follow them all the time. Uh, but I'm, go- I'm actually going to ask Courtney first because you've been sitting here patiently waiting. And, um, you know, you actually come up with a good point about the fact that, all right, it's gone in Europe, but they're a ga- they have a game in hand. Yep. And she basically said, Craig, what's everyone moaning about? Well, I won't go that far. Let's not put it like that, Jamie. But what are you looking at the table now? They've got a game in hand on Liverpool, for example. They could go above Liverpool, go into six. Obviously, everything else in terms of what happens with the other games. Liverpool might not win anything this season. So, in that end, and then if you go and win the um, the League Cup, is, is that not a successful season in a way? If they get in Europa League and they win the League Cup, Jose Mourinho will probably say it's job done, right? But it's yeah. been, but it's last just on last night's performance, it just was nowhere near good enough. No, I agree, and it's probably that similar to the situation at Manchester United, winning that Europa. He 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 thinks he was vindicated by that and finishing second with that team, which at the time I do, I do agree with. Um, at the end of the day, he's been brought in to win trophies. But as as I've just said to you, I think it's the manner in the way in which they lost last night, and in you know then you're looking at that thinking, has he lost the players? Yeah, and 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 this is the big question on that performance last night, Craig. And if you're listening as well, get your calls in oh eight seven one seven double two double three double four. Who is to blame for that performance last night, Craig? Is it the manager? Is it Daniel Levy? Or do the players need to be held accountable because it was an absolute disgrace? Um, first of all, I want to say I love Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. <laughs> <laughs> this is my club. I love them. I've always loved them. In Jose, but we what trust. I saw ye- what I saw yesterday was dreadful. It was horrific. It was horrendous. It was frightful. It was terrible. It was shocking. It was appalling. It was hideous. It was grim. It was ghastly. That performance there Anything was just else? a disgrace. The synonyms are on point. It was, it was a disgrace, all right? You saw Hugo Lloris, the so-called captain of the team. I didn't see a captain out there. I didn't see one leader out there saying it was a disgrace after the game. You had the manager questioning the attitude of the players. Uh, to answer your question, Jamie, I think it's a lot of people's thoughts. I think it's the board. I think it's the manager. But my main aim, my main criticism is going to be at these players. And I'll let you know why. Because a lot of people are going to say it's Jose. And that's fine. Obviously, Jose and these players aren't working out right now. My main thing is this. These players did the same thing under Pochettino towards the end of his tenure. They threw him under the bus. They stopped playing for him. They downed tools and he got sacked. Our best manager I've probably ever seen got sacked because they didn't want to play for him anymore. And we're seeing the same Thing. I don't care if they hate Jose Mourinho. I don't care if they can't stand the sight of him. Yesterday, you had to win that game. Well, they, didn't no, to, they didn't even have to win it, Craig. Sorry, they just needed a goal. They needed a goal across 120 minutes of football. Oh, 120 minutes of football, they needed one goal. So what's that got to do with the manager? I don't care if they didn't even... The other team didn't even have a manager. Yeah. The manager's in prison. He's in Cat D. He's on the wing. <laughs> right. what, how is... This is, Jamie, this is ridiculous. They needed a goal and we're, and we're directing. But those players didn't need a manager. They didn't need anyone. They, they should have just went out there and won. You know what I found? Or at least got a goal. You know what I found was the most bizarre thing, which I, they were winning the game 2 0, right? From, the, from a decent performance in the first leg. They went there and it was like they, he changed the team. He freshened it up. And the problem you get with that, Greg, as well, which I find, and Courtney was uh, probably uh, say the same thing, is when you bring in new players who have not been playing, they want to impress Jose Mourinho. So yeah. instead of giving a mature performance of let's slow the game down, let's play a Jose Mourinho style yeah. for this game. That's the thing that it I simple. think baffled me because that was right. This is a Jose Mourinho game. Be difficult to beat. You don't even need to go Make forward. Make fouls. Give away yeah. cheap free kicks. Be, you know, be a horrible, horrible team to play against. Yeah. Waste time. Put the ball down the it channels. Like, it looked Keep like the players trying to fir- get their manager out. It, w- it looked like I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to make those accusations. But that's what it looked and felt like to me. But, but After they, that first but, half, you had another half to change it, and they didn't. Listen, Craig. As a player, you have pride in your performance. No matter whether you like the manager or not, if you're picked in that starting eleven, you are playing for Tottenham Hotspur. Did you see, did you see it? Did you see? I the didn't. Plan, no, did I it? didn't see any of that. There was a lack of leadership. There was a lack of quality, and there was a complete lack of desire. But you're looking at the players. Eric Dyer played in a World Cup. Lucas Moura was his, his 70th game in Europe. So you're talking about Sissoko. The hero of the hour in the Champions League run. 
and you look, I'm, I'm watching the players and I just, I'm flabbergasted at how bad they were giving the ball away. And I'm thinking to myself, this it, how is this acceptable? How has it come to this point for Spurs in, in really and truthfully was, apart from the North London derby, have been in decent form. Mm. Like they've looked all right and you're thinking, okay, you know, we're getting back to it. Gareth Bale looking good again. And even Gareth last night, I was thinking, come on, where are your leaders in your team? It was just like the heads went down, Dynamo grew in confidence and it turned into a complete and utter disaster. One of the worst European nights I've ever would seen. You, Jamie, what would you say is a lower point? Um, the the losing 5-1 to a 10-man relegated Newcastle on the final day of the season when all we needed was a point to finish second and our neighbours finished above us or yesterday's result? I would have to say yesterday's result because in the grand scheme of things, finishing second or third is irrelevant, right? It's, you're still in what the you mean? We, we got We got the banter. We, we finished third in a two-horse race. Remember that? Yeah, I get that. But that to me as a player... That yeah, is, I is, think that's different. Like At the end different. of the day, Europe's towards trophies. Again, you always want to finish as high as possible, but that was a chance of going forward in a trophy. Gone. Yeah, yeah no, I have to agree. I mean, last night's performance was an absolute disaster. So uh, we reached a new low. So we managed to reach a new low. That was the lowest point I've since since I've left Spurs and I've been watching Spurs for a long time now. Watching it, very lucky to to do that, and it's a privilege. Watching that last night was the lowest point for me. Watching so that. Jamie- Jamie, you've played for Spurs, right? And you know what it means to the fans. You know how demanding the fans can be. And obviously over the last few years, the expectations have gone through the roof because of Champions League finals and Premier League title runnings, right? Yeah. If you're a player now after that performance and you know you've got Villa on the weekend and today they must be hiding their heads. Yeah. Literally, a shame. Hanging, if they go hanging on their heads. Their phone, hanging their heads. If, if, if they go on their phone, if they check the media, they're getting it left, right and centre right now. If you was playing in this Spurs team... How would you be feeling right now? Would you be motivated to go out there and change it? Me, personally, I would be motivated. I mean, I would be motivated to go out there and prove everyone wrong because that performance, and I look at sort of players who I like who are very good, Harry Winks, no leadership last night. It was a poor performance and someone I rate so highly. If it was me, I would be going into that game saying, Jose Mourinho, put me in this team because I'm going to carry him from now on. 